friends and family. We are stoked to be here with a mini-sode for you today, diving into some of our personal stories about discipline. Yep. We want to share a little bit about some habits that we've formed and continue to support over the last decade. So stay tuned so you can hear a few personal examples about building discipline from your favorite sisters. Let's get into it. Do you want what you want sooner rather than later? Do you find yourself growing more effectively in environments where people are growing alongside you? Well, we have the conference for you. Do you love going to events as much as we do? Then you want to be in the room for the Further Faster Conference happening October 29th and October 30th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, the Further Faster Conference is headlined by our dear friend, mentor, and business partner, Joseph McClendon III. And trust us, you're going to want to be in the room. This is two days jam-packed of material that will help you grow personally and professionally. And if you're wondering how to make a million dollars in 10 years, you have to be in the room to hear the strategy that Joseph is going to share. It is phenomenal. Go to neuroencoding.com slash F FC to learn more about the Further Faster Conference coming at the end of October. We hope to see you in Vegas. And now back to the show. You're enjoying this episode on Angel Phoenix Productions Podcast Network. To explore a complete lineup of quality programs and media production services, head on over to angelphoenix.com or like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Angel Phoenix Productions. All right. Discipline is no easy mistress. That is for sure. And Shyla and I have both had the experiences in our lives of having to uh, eat the frog of the difficult tasks of discipline in order to create a better character and one that we're more proud of. Well, if you've never heard the expression eat the frog before, it has to do with the with the notion that if you had a plate of all kinds of things in front of you and that you had to eat and one of them was a frog and the rest of them are all French fries and strawberries and whipped cream and things that you enjoy eating, then you would want to eat the frog first so that you could have it over with, that you wouldn't be dreading it and you could enjoy the rest of the food. Now, this idea and this metaphor applies to our tasks in our life. And that's one of the things that people tell you when you're building a new discipline habit to to try and do it early in the day when you still have that strong mental power um, and try and do it first off so that you can enjoy the rest of the tasks and not be dreading what's coming along. And for me, along my fitness journey, that has definitely been the case. I've realized that I cannot hold myself accountable to working out in the afternoon. And so I find a way to be on that treadmill in the morning, even though it means my alarm goes off at 420. I know that I can eat that frog at five in the morning, but I can't eat it at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. And so make Making that choice helps set me up for success for the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the things on my plate. Now, Shai, you've had a really cool journey with fitness. And as we were prepping for this episode, it was really cool to kind of lay it out and talk about it. And I'm hoping uh, that you'll give everybody hope because <laughs> we had talk a lot about how you're a runner, you run your six miles a day, you do a half marathon every year. And all of these things are really dang impressive. But all of this started with 30 minute a day commitment on an elliptical machine. It did. Well, we all know we've got to have some kind of exercise habit. And so knowing that and understanding that at the ripe age of 18 or 19, I started to say, well, what is going to be my fitness habit? I know I can at least put in 30 minutes a day on the elliptical. If you would have known me my senior year of high school, I would have told you that my hell would have been on a treadmill. My seventh circle of purgatory would be on a treadmill that never ended. I hated running and I hated the treadmill. We're actually designed as torture devices, so you're not quite <laughs> See, like, I just want you to understand that was my uh, my beginning operating framework around running. So I'm doing 30 minutes a day on the elliptical and I'm starting to, I'm starting to consume content around the fact that if you spend 10,000 hours on something that you become an expert at that. And so I'm ellipticaling one day and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm committed to exercise, which means five or six hours a week, which means in like 17 years, I'm going to be an expert elliptical-er. I'm like, I don't, that's not, that's not really a skill that I, that I want to become an expert in. And it's not practical in the real world. You can't elliptical away from a bear. And it was really that 
a, a visualization in my head that said that I'm going to run because you can run from a bear and running is a skill that I at least after 10,000 hours could feel good about becoming a master at that skill. And so I began running three miles a day, 30 minutes. I felt like I could commit to that. And I did for 10 years. I ran three miles a day at 30 minutes and then finally hit a point where I was like, I think I could do more and I think I could be more. And at that 10 years, at that 13 years, at that 45 minutes, at as I started to move closer and closer to now where I'm at now, six miles in an hour every day, five days a week, I started to embrace that identity of being a runner, of being proud of that, of this DNA that I'm a runner, that I do a half marathon. And so over time, now we're looking at 15 years later, I've been able to now have this discipline of running that everyone goes, wow, you're so disciplined at, but really it's been this long journey and it's been incremental along the way. So well, what I love about this story is that it demonstrates that discipline doesn't happen A, overnight, that B, it's not always linear, right? It's not like she went from zero to running. She went from zero to elliptical, to running a little, to running a lot, to, to having that identity, right? And so the discipline to get started ended up culminating in an identity shift for you, mm -hmm. but it took the discipline to get started in the first place. And finding the ways to eat the, eat the frog of the elliptical helped you to build success and then build more success on top of that in order to create a habit, a discipline that now is a part of your core identity and character and one that I know uh, not just you are proud of, but all the people around you are proud of as well. Well, thank you, sis. I appreciate that. And I look forward to sharing a discipline story about you in tomorrow's mini So make sure you stay tuned because you want to hear Kay's journey around her TV habit. This podcast was a production of Angel Phoenix Productions. Explore more episodes of this show or other great shows on the Angel Phoenix Podcast Network by visiting angelphoenix.com. The views expressed in this show do not necessarily represent those of Angel Phoenix Productions or its advertisers and may contain language that's unsuitable for younger listeners.